Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we're gonna make this Team Spirit wrap with no ends to sew in. It's small enough to wear and big enough to share and built-in pom-poms. All the materials and measurements are at the end of this video and the written pattern is on my website, secretyarnery.com. Here are the timestamps so you can jump back to the section you're working on and let's get started. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using some brighter colors just so you can see my stitches. So starting with your larger hook and a long tail of your favorite color, whatever your favorite team color is, we're going to start and finish with it so it'll be like the border. So pick your favorite color or the most dominant color for your team and leave about a 10 inch tail and make a slip knot. Shrink that down and pop it onto your hook and chain 188. One, two, three. When you've finished your chain of 188, take that big hook out. We don't need it until we're doing our tassels. Get your smaller hook, your seven millimeter or your six and a half, whatever you have handy. Pinch that last chain and chain three more. One, two, and three. Now we want to roll that chain to the side and we want to look for our back loops. The first back loop is right underneath our working yarn, right here. So there is one, here is number two, three, and here is four. That's right where we were pinching. That is where we're going to start our wrap. So wrap your yarn. I'm just holding that stitch open with my thumb and slide that back loop on. And one double crochet. Now look for your pretty little V's again. We want to hold them to the side. If it's hard for you to work into your back loops, you can work into your chain like you normally do, but you will get a nicer finish if you work into your back loops. So into the very next back loop, we can see we worked into this back loop right here, this stitch. The next one is right here, that next camel bump. So that's where we're gonna go into next. You just kind of hold it ready with your thumb. One double crochet into the next stitch or the next back loop one double crochet. Chain one. Now we're going to skip a back loop. So still making sure you're holding those V's to the side. We're going to skip one back loop, the next one right here, and we're going to work in to the second right there. So wrap your yarn and into the second stitch, the second chain, one double crochet, one, Wrap your yarn into the next stitch or the next back loop right here, one double crochet. And into the next back loop or the next chain right here, one double crochet. So we're going to be doing sets of three double crochets. And this part is a bit fiddly, it takes time. Just be patient with yourself. So there's our three double crochets. So now we're going to chain one and skip one and start another three double crochets. So skipping the next back loop right here and working into the second, we're going to do three double crochets, one into each stitch. So into the second stitch, one double crochet, one into the next chain, that next back loop, one double crochet, and into the next back loop, or the next chain, one double crochet. Chain one, skip one, and we're gonna make three double crochets, one into each of the next three back loops. So now you can pause the video and keep working along, doing a chain one, skip one, and then one, two, three double crochets into each back loop, and then chain one, skip one, one, two, three double crochets into the next three stitches all the way along, and I'll meet you when you get to the end of this row. At the end of your row, you'll have two of these little back loops left, two chains, one and two. That is exactly what we want. So do your last chain one, skip one, and into the very last chain, right on top of that knot, we're gonna do our last double crochet to finish the row. So wrap your yarn and one double crochet into the last chain. Just 
just like that, but we're not going to finish it. We're going to leave that on our hook and we're going to cut our yarn leaving a long tail again. So if you want longer tassels, leave a longer tail. If you want short tassels, you can make them shorter. So getting your third color, leave a long enough tail and slide that loop onto your hook and just finish that double crochet with your new yarn. Drop your tail, just hold it with your work and chain three. One, two, and three. Turn your work and we're gonna go down into that chain that we didn't work into, that back loop. So we're gonna go right down here and pick up that back loop. So we're gonna do a drop double crochet or a spike stitch all the way down. So just slide that back loop underneath that space onto your hook. Put your hook through everything so everything is on top of my hook, just like that. And we're gonna do one double crochet or a drop double crochet or a spike double crochet just like that to pick up that loop. And now into the very next stitch, right here, one double crochet. So wrap your yarn and one double crochet into the next stitch. So there is our first set of three double crochets. Now we're gonna chain one and skip one. And we're gonna work in to these stitches around and under our bridge. So we're gonna work in to the stitch before the opening under the opening and after the opening. So wrap your yarn, skip a stitch into the next right before that bridge, one double crochet. Wrap your yarn under the bridge. We're just gonna go pick up that back loop right down in there and we're gonna go underneath everything with our hook. One drop double crochet or spike stitch. Just into that back loop underneath everything, one drop double crochet, and into the next stitch, one double crochet right after that opening. Chain one, skip one, so we're skipping that middle double crochet, and we're gonna work into these three, before, under, and after the bridge. So before the bridge, one double crochet, under the bridge, one drop double crochet or a spike stitch. And after the bridge, into that very next stitch. So it looks a bit far away, it's right here. That is the stitch right after. One double crochet. Chain one. You can tell if you have done your chain because there's only gonna be one loop underneath your working yarn. If you haven't done your chain, there'll be two loops underneath your working yarn, underneath your hook. So make sure you have one loop under your hook. That means you've done your chain. Wrap your yarn, look for that next bridge. We're gonna go in before, under, and after. So before, one double crochet under one drop double crochet and after one double crochet. Chain one, skip one, and we're gonna do the same thing around the next bridge. We're gonna go in before the bridge, one double crochet, after the bridge, under the bridge, one drop double crochet into that back loop. Putting my hook underneath everything, double crochet, and into the next stitch, way over right there, one double crochet. So now you can pause the video and keep working along to the end of your row. Do a chain one, skip one, and just work into these three stitches all around your bridges, before, under, and after, all the way along, and I'll meet you when we get to the end of your row. So after my set of three, we're gonna do the same thing. So after your set of three at the end of the row, chain one, skip one, we are gonna work into our chain. So this is our stitch, we're skipping that stitch. We're gonna go right into this chain. 
We want two strands on the top of our hook. So wrap your yarn and one double crochet into the top of that chain three to end your row. So wrap and take off two, but leave those last two loops on your hook. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to be your tassel. And grab the same color again. We're gonna do two rows of each color, always with a neutral in between. Make a nice long tail for your tassels and slide that loop on your hook and finish that double crochet with your new yarn. Hold that tail down along the back of your work and chain three. One, two, and three. Turn your work. And now this is the repeat. So wrap your yarn. We're gonna go down underneath the bridge, underneath our space, right into that stitch. So now it's a lot easier to do. Right into that same stitch. One drop double crochet, and one double crochet into that stitch right after the bridge. So there is our set of three. Chain one, skip one. So we're always gonna be skipping this long drop stitch. We're skipping that. We're gonna work in to this bridge before, under, and after. So wrap your yarn into the first stitch before the bridge. One double crochet. Wrap your yarn into the stitch under the bridge, right down here. We're gonna go all the way under our work, just like that. So into that stitch under the bridge, one drop double crochet or spike stitch. And wrap your yarn into the next stitch right after the bridge, one double crochet. Chain one, skip one, so we're skipping that long double crochet. Into those stitches around the next bridge, one double crochet before, one double crochet under, and one double crochet after. Chain one, skip one, and we're gonna do the same thing around the next bridge. So, one double crochet before. Wrap your yarn, one double crochet under. And one double crochet after. That is our set of three. Chain one, skip one. And now pause the video and keep working along, doing a double crochet before, under, and after each one of these bridges, or each one of these spaces, all the way along your row, and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of your row, you have finished your three, so do your chain one, skip one, and we're gonna work right into that chain Right here, two strands of that chain on the top of your hook with our last double crochet, but we're not gonna finish it. So we just wrap and take off two. Leave those last two loops on your hook. Just cut your tail about the same as your others. Now we're gonna go back to our neutral color. Every other row is gonna be neutral. the same color again. We're gonna do two rows of each color, always with a neutral in between. So the next row is blue, then your neutral, then orange, then your neutral, then your second color again, then your neutral. And now you're ready to start with your blue again or whatever color you started with. So every other row is our neutral and then two rows of color. So pairs of your rows in between that neutral. And that's how you get this really great houndstooth look. So keep going until you have 33 rows of your color. Just counting to four, six, eight, 10 like that. When you have 33 rows of your color, meet me back and I'll show you how to do that very last row. When your wrap is the height you want it to be, you want to finish the same way as you started. So the top and the bottom of your wrap will both be matching. So grab the color that you started with, loop of yarn on your hook, and just do what we always do. So drop your tail and chain three. One, two, and three. Snug those tails down a little bit and turn your work. 
Now into the stitch underneath that next space, your long double crochet. Just like that. And one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. So now everything is getting a stitch. We're not chaining for this row at all. So one double crochet into each stitch. And when you get to your space, to your bridge, we're just gonna do a long double crochet into the stitch underneath it. So one long double crochet and three regular double crochets. So one, two, three, and one long double crochet into that stitch down below. Just like that. So you can pause the video and keep working along doing three double crochets, one, two, and three, and a long double crochet into the stitch underneath the space all the way along, and I'll meet you when we get to the end of this row. At the end of your row, make your last double crochet into the top of that chain, and we're gonna finish this one off. So just finish that double crochet. Chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail for your tassel. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. So just go along the edge of your wrap. Find these pairs of tails and we're just gonna take each pair and give them a little double knot. So one and two. Just like that, all the way along the edge of your blanket. So pause the video and I'll meet you when all of your ends have been tied. Now it's time to do the tassels. So go ahead and find yourself a hardcover book. Hardcover books are super great because they have this little trough at the top or the side, depending which way you are using your book, where you can just slide your scissors along to cut your tassels. So go ahead, put that tail just over the top of your book. Let's hold it down. This is gonna be the start and finish where we will be cutting along the top. So just hold that tail along the top of your book and wrap. So now I'm holding my tail along the other side of my book. Let's get that all up in there. Take your super sharp scissors and just slide it right along that crease of your hardcover book. And there are your tassels. So do that with your other color. Now to do your tassels, we're gonna be starting right on this end. So how we're gonna do the tassels, we're gonna do one strand of our neutral color or whatever it was our every other row color, and five strands of whatever color is coming out from your work. So you have six loops, just fold them in half as best you can and put them onto your thumb. Put your hook down into this very first stitch right at the corner and thumb to hook. We're gonna slide all those loops onto our hook and bring it through. Bring it up a few inches, hold that tail from our work along with our tassel yarn and you can slip stitch to join with your hook or you can also just use your fingers, whatever is easier for you and slide those down on to your work. Flip it over, just make sure that looks nice and cute. If any of them are too loopy, just go through one, one, one and find the one that is needs a little bit of a snug down. So for the next, it's still blue and silver. So one strand of the silver and five strands of the blue. Fold that in half as best you can. Slide it onto your thumb. Put that hook down into the stitch. You wanna go somewhere into that stitch. Just poke our hook in. Put your thumb onto your hook, slide all those loops on, and bring them through. Pull them up a few inches. Hold your knotted tails with your tassel yarn. And slip stitch to join either with your hook or with your fingers. 
Make sure it looks cute on the back side. Make sure you don't turn your work. We always want to be going down into the same side of our wrap. And remember, when you're looking at this side, we're seeing this twist, like a little French twist. We're seeing all the yarn come in and go down. So that's where we want to be putting our hook. Where the yarn goes down, our hook goes down. We don't want to be working into the side that is just cute little ponytails. So when you finish your tassels on the one side, lay your wrap out so we don't get it twisted around. And now we can start putting our tassels onto this side with our hook going down into that stitch all the way along. So each side of both ends of our wrap will match. So now when your tassels are all attached, just kind of lay it out as flat as you can. Get some masking tape and lay this down underneath your knots. You'll be able to see if they're straight or not. And then just tape that down on each end onto your work surface. Comb these and one more piece of masking tape. Now this one we want to make parallel to our top masking tape and also closer to the end. We want to keep our tassels as long as we can. Now I'm going to push this one down so that's holding my ends and especially onto my work surface because we're going to use this measurement again. Now we have this pretty much stable. Now this is when I would get a measuring tape and just make sure there's five inches in between or whatever your distance is all the way along. So that's great. One more piece of masking tape right here. We're going to make a cut line. So this one we're just going to leave a spot for our scissors just like that at the bottom and we're going to push this one down as well. Take your scissors and just cut very carefully in between these masking tapes, making sure the bottom blade is running along your work surface. Now just move this one forward a bit. You want to make sure you've cut everything. Now you can take this lower masking tape off and this piece of tape we're going to leave it onto our work surface. So I'm going to leave it on this side and I'm going to leave it on the other side as well just so I can line up the next edge of my blanket. And I'm going to do that with the top tape also leaving that on my work surface so I know where my measurements are. And now we can take off all of this masking tape. And there is our super cute tassels all trimmed nice and evenly. Do the same thing on the other side and you're finished. What you're gonna need to make your No Ends Team Spirit Wrap is 500 grams of one color and 250 grams of each of the next two colors. So three colors all together, twice as much of one color as the rest. You'll also need a pair of flat bottom scissors for cutting your tassels, a seven millimeter crochet hook and an eight millimeter crochet hook, a pair of yarn scissors, you could use these if they're handy, a hardcover book and some masking tape. The finished measurements of my wrap are 28 inches wide and 72 inches long, not including the tassels. From this nine inch book, my tassels ended up being seven inches after they were trimmed. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. See you in this video. Stay hooked.